All right, good day, ladies and gentlemen. I have a jam-packed show for you today. We're gonna talk about some very important on-chart technicals for Ethereum. We're gonna talk about some very important off-chart catalysts for Ethereum. And folks, give our Twitter a follow. Link for that down in the description. We're constantly posting and, and retweeting uh, important news stories. So if you wanna stay up to date with some of the latest and greatest in crypto news stories, give our Twitter a follow. Look, folks, I just retweeted this gen today. This is a low-cap gen that I've been talking to our uh, VIP Discord group about. Uh, if you wanna join our VIP Discord where we talk about low-cap gems, uh, folks, ooh, the low-cap gems we, we've been talking about. Some of them have done two Xs, some of them have done three Xs. So I'm just saying, you know, I'm, I'm just saying, uh, link to join that will be through our Patreon down in the description. I'm very excited to ape into Marshall. Uh, again, do your own research, uh, but I'm very excited about this thing. Unfortunately, it's only on Pol Polka Starter. I don't uh, own any polls, so I might have just to ape in uh, once once it uh, gets listed. But anyways, uh, point is, follow our Twitter. Lots of interesting stuff there. Now, <clears throat> before we be begin today's video, I just want to... Uh, I just want to run through a story here and kind of because I want us to be on the same page with what's going on, folks. We are early to this crypto game. Historically speaking, crypto has moved in these cycles, uh, these four year cycles. And I think we're just, you know, in some, near the beginning stages of the cycle. I think the cycle is like to end <clears throat> sometime at the end of this year, and folks. Uh, just today, we got a news story saying Morgan Stanley is the first big bank offering Bitcoin to wealthy clients, folks. This is one of the first time in history the, the, the little guy, the, the retail, could front run the banks, the corporations, and the rich. We are early. The rich are just waking up and realizing what Bitcoin and what crypto is. So, I mean, if you're panic selling ETH over 5-10% tips, I mean, folks, look, ETH, ETH could one day um, replace Bitcoin in terms of market cap. And it's not just my crazy ass saying this anymore. Uh, look at this. We're, we're getting a news story on, on Cointelegraph. So, uh, you know, this, this analyst, uh, Ryan Watkins from, uh, from an analyst firm, uh, Masari, is, has now speculated that Ether uh, could overtake Bitcoin as the largest crypto asset once ETH 2.0 and proof of stake overhaul is complete. And hell, I agree. So, folks, we have major developments happening with ETH. Let me just briefly distill them to you. We have <clears throat> optimistic rollups, which aims to improve the transactions per second and the gas fees rolling out sometime this month. We have the Berlin hard fork uh, coming April 14th, April 15th, which will further aim to improve uh, gas and efficiencies with Ethereum, uh, make improvements to Ethereum's virtual machine and some fa safety features. We also have uh, EIP 1559, Ethereum improvement proposal 1559 coming in July, which will make Ethereum deflationary as we can see here he goes on to say ethereum's forthcoming burn mechanism will result in ethereum being destroyed at a rate exceeding the creation of new supply thus making ethereum deflationary folks i definitely believe maybe not this cycle but maybe five if we zoom forward five years down the road you know 2025 2026 could ethereum ha have a greater market cap than bitcoin i think it could I think it could, and I think people are just trying to start to realize this. That's why I do find it funny <laughs> when people with panic sell 5, 10, 30 percent dips. When people, while people were panic selling this dip, I was panic buying. Folks, I cannot get my hands on enough Ethereum. Now, let's mention some important factors that we need to understand. <clears throat> They're trying to figure out what the next movement for Ethereum is here. Are we breaking down? Are we breaking up? Well, I want to mention some key support and resistance levels so we understand what's going on right off the bat because there's a lot of lines here, but let's distill what's important. So this price action here from back in, you know, January, I, is, I believe is still playing some role uh, to this day because if we just extend a support slash resistance line based off these three wicks uh, and these wicks here, uh, we can see that is exactly where we found rejection uh, once when we uh, tried to pump. So as well, if we extend a support line uh, by these two wicks here, we can see how uh, we could possibly anticipate a support level here if we start to break down. So I do think uh, this is where we find support. And again, at that key level of 1720, 1725, you know, I'm probably going to, I'm just going <clears> to... <throat> I'm going to raise this because I keep mentioning it at 1725 to 1700 uh, being that key level. And I do think that's a key level. So if we cannot maintain above 1800, I think our next stop here, 1725 to 1700, probably retest the screen line here. Now, key resistance level that we need to get above to see those continuation is 1850, 1850 US dollar tether. <clears throat> if we can get above that, I think it makes it far more likely that we see those continuation. We can see based off these wicks that we're constantly, constantly getting rejected off this level. Really 
it's like 1740 to 1750 but if we can get above and hold 1750 i think folks were retesting all uh these all-time highs and some of these higher resistance levels here um and i think it is just a matter of time before ethereum tackles its all-time highs and vastly surpasses it folks eth is stupidly undervalued i'll tell you why Folks, so crypto moves in cycles, Bitcoin leads the market, Ethereum and the altcoins usually lag behind afterwards. So it's always important to understand what Bitcoin's doing, because uh, like I just mentioned, Bitcoin leads the market. So previous cycle, Bitcoin's all-time highs was just under 20 grand. So if we go to 20 to now, how high... Bitcoin's done nearly a 200, grown 200% from its previous cycles, all-time highs. Ethereum's previous cycles, all-time highs was about 1420. It differs depending on what exchange you look at, but let's just say a roughly 1420. Uh, folks, Ethereum's just barely up 25% from its previous cycles, all-time highs. I think it's just a matter of time before ETH catches up and does something very similar. Uh, uh, this is something very similar uh, that Bitcoin did, where Bitcoin has done grown 200% from its previous cycles, all-time highs. I think it's just a matter of time before ETH does that, folks. So again, while people are panic selling these dips, I find it frankly hilarious because there's so many more bullish factors uh, than bearish factors um, when it comes to Ethereum over the long term, over the short term cryptocurrency. <clears throat> Excuse me, folks. I got a frog in my throat today is extremely volatile, extremely difficult to predict, extremely difficult to understand in the short term, but over the long term, I think it's actually very predictable to understand what cryptocurrency is gonna do over the long term. So key level to maintain above is 1800. So we're kind of range bound within this range from 1800 to 1850. Whatever way we break out of that tight range will be very telling for future price action. Let's say we start to break down. I think 1725, 1720 is our, our next stop. If that doesn't hold, I think we retest the 200 EMA on the eight and the 10 hour, because as we can see on the eight and the 10 hour, that is where we found the support. That is where we stopped dumping after our first uh, large you know, correction crash we had here. So I would expect that to be a relevant support level moving forward that also coincides with this descending triangle here based off these three wicks and we just extend a green support line here we have a cluster of support all throughout these regions not to mention our 236 fed level right there so we have a lot of fed levels a lot of support levels uh co converging at this level here so i think that's our next stop if this level doesn't here hold <clears throat> If we can break above 1850, I think we're talking this level here at kind of 1930, then all-time highs. Once we break all-time highs, I think, you know, 2200 folks and then, you know, 2400 are probably our next stop, something around there. It's also uh, important to understand what Bitcoin is doing. If Bitcoin takes a nosedive, it's going to negatively affect the altcoins. Now, something I've been bringing up more and more, I'm going to keep bringing it up more and more, is the Bitcoin dominance chart. Because this is probably a very, um, you could probably, no, well, you can guess it, or, or Get a sense of, of what the altcoin market, that's what I'm trying to say. You can easily get a sense of what the altcoin market is doing just by looking at the Bitcoin dominance chart. Why? Because Bitcoin dominance is the total value of Bitcoin in comparison to the total value of all cryptocurrency. Right now, we can see that Bitcoin makes up 62.01% of the entire cryptocurrency market. If we see Bitcoin dominance start to rally, that should tell you that um, you know, it's Bitcoin's time to shine, you know, Bitcoin's increasing in value. Once we see Bitcoin dominance start to fall, I should tell you it's it's the altcoins time to shine. That we're going to see the altcoins continue to pump once we see Bitcoin dominance fall. Now we've been flirting with this very important range of 60%. Remember this, folks. I keep mentioning it. I'm going to keep mentioning it because it's very important. Once we see Bitcoin dominance fall and get a daily candle close below 60%, it's a wrap. It's a wrap, folks. These alts are exploding, folks. These corrections. Are a blessing it's the crypto gods giving you a chance to, to get in before the banks wake up and realize oh hey this crypto shit's gonna take over the world so folks dips are for buying they're not for selling in my opinion i'm not a financial advisor it was not financial advice i'm just expressing uh my my own personal excitement but i could be wrong none of this is a guarantee a meteor could you know hit the earth and and destroy the global internet and all this can go to zero and i lose everything something like that is totally possible nothing is a guarantee when it comes to investing in crypto nothing not even bitcoin not even ethereum uh they've been uh, extremely volatile they are extremely volatile uh they swing uh wildly regularly now another very important chart uh damn me can really rap jeez anyways so uh one um one very important chart that we need to follow to understand what the next big move is for ethereum is the ethereum bitcoin pairing is on the pairing you can find hidden support and resistance levels that you wouldn't have anticipated just looking at ethereum so whatever way we break out of this tight range that i've drawn here because this is a this has been a very price reactive range here so whatever way we break out of this range I think will be the next major impulse for Ethereum. If we break out bullishly, we're retesting this level. If we break down bearishly, I think we're retesting this level here. So, 
folks, that's what I'm looking out for uh, in the short term. I've mentioned, uh, you know, support and resistance levels that you need to be aware of. It's also important to follow Bitcoin. Bitcoin leads the market here. Uh, if we can maintain above this peak here, maintain above 58,300, we're probably going to see bullish continuation. If we cannot, we're probably going to go for a bit of a leg down, maybe form a bit of a, uh, of a bear flag or a bull flag here. By the way, some uh, I would love to see because it would be very uh, bullish is what if what if Bitcoin started to form like a bear flag here where we did something like this and broke out bullishly here or something like that right uh, bull, uh, bull flags are very bullish because when if we ever form like this downward moving channel and we break out above it uh, then we're probably going to impulse the length of the initial impulse which was roughly this much so where could this take us I mean um, you know, it depends where we break out, right? Uh, but let's just assume the conservative case. <laughs> Folks, I think the next breakout above this all-time high and this all-time high could take us to 70 grand for Bitcoin. And uh, look, if Bitcoin's rallying, Bitcoin dollar is going to rise. The altcoins are going to temporarily suffer. But ultimately, Bitcoin rising is ultimately in the end a good thing for, for, for alts, folks, because um, Bitcoin leads the market. So uh, good to see lots of interesting stuff going on. Um, oh, as well, folks, before before you FOMO buy and panic sell everything, look, I wanted to bring you guys, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to start trying to do this more often. I'm going to bring you guys a low cap gen every video, every so, you know, every few videos. I'm going to bring you a low cap gen that I've been accumulating, um, that I've been talking to our VAP Discord uh, group about. Again, join our VAP Discord group. Link for that down in the description. You get access through our Patreon. Make sure you, you connect your Patreon to your Discord. There's been, uh, you know, people have been having issues connecting. You have to connect Patreon to your Discord. Uh, so with that being said, uh, without further ado here, allow me to, uh, to bring you this low cap gem. Uh, that I've been talking about for quite a while to our Discord group. So, folks, I want to talk to you about Linear, Lena here. So, what is Linear? What is Lena? Why should you care? Well, this thing is essentially a lower, uh, a lower cap version of Synthetics. And Synthetics is by far the leader in its niche, in the derivatives niche. Uh, but Linear uh, is, is you know, somewhat of a competitor. Uh, they're doing a lot of very interesting things. The reason why I like it so much, look at this. E even after the, its immense pump, it's had, so it got, it got listed on Binance. Uh, and that's why it, it, uh, it pumped. But look, I've been talking to, the, to our, uh, our Discord members uh, about this thing for, uh, for quite a while. Ever since this thing was at like 60 cents. Or sorry, uh, yeah, six cents, roughly like six, seven cents. I've been talking to our Discord group about this thing, and uh, look, if you would, <laughs> look, if you would have been in our VIP Discord, let's say you got in at the very top here, let's say you got in at ten cents, you could have made two hundred forty percent. You could have made e even after the massive correction ninety percent on Linear Lena. So, I mean, folks, our, our VIP Discord is like nine bucks a month. I mean, I don't know if you, you could have e you could have easily. Uh, like bought our VIP Discord for like y years with any one of our calls. So I mean, just just a thought, just an option, right? So look, um, lots of interesting stuff going on with this thing. I actually want to accumulate more because I'll show you why. So Linear Lena, like I said, is a competitor to Synthetics. Let's so its mark cap is three hundred fifty million. What's the mark cap of Synthetics? Two point eight billion. You know, could Linear Lena one day reach uh, a quarter, or half? You know, reach the billions in terms of market cap? I think it could. I think it could. So uh, over the long term, right? And we have had quite a massive correction. So the way I would approach um, accumulating Lena, if I were so inclined, none of this is financial advice. None of this is a guarantee. We could always correct further. Is if we re-enter the golden pocket ratio, which we're kind of entering right now. So for those who don't know, the six one eight, this range right here on our Fibonacci retracement, is typically where securities like to fall within after they've had a massive, massive parabolic impulse. Uh, and that's, this this range here, this is known as the golden pocket. That's typically where they fall to and then find support. So we're actually technically within it. So uh, since now it's on Binance, you don't even have to buy. Folks, I was buying this on Uniswap with crazy gas fees, $50, $60 gas fees for, for Ethereum. It's absolutely insane. But now it's on Binance. You could just buy this with US dollar Teller. I'm actually going to uh, take, I, I've been uh, I've been day trading. I, I f Folks, I had four profitable trades the other day, folks. Oof. So I'm actually going to move that that money and buy more uh, buy more Lena to be honest, because now that it's listed on Binance and we're within the 618 here. So let's just kind of briefly describe. I don't want to make this video too long. Some key support and resistance levels. So key support level, I would say, is, you know, from 20 cents here. Oh, that's crazy. 20 cents to about 18 cents. Uh, basically, just just these green lines, folks. You know, folks, pause the video for a second 
and uh, and take a look at where these levels line up. Um, these are based off some fib, fib levels, uh, some some uh, peaks in, in price action, some wicks here, and some uh, and some peaks in volume. So. For us to see bullish continuation, I want to see uh, get above 24, really 25 cents, because that's the VPR point of control. That's where the most volume is traded. Uh, once we can get above and hold above 24 cents here, I think that's when we see bullish continuation. I don't expect this to like really take off anytime soon. It's had a massive uh, run up. This is a long term hold for me. I, I think one day um, this thing could be worth billions, similar to synthetic. So, uh, but it's not going to happen tomorrow, folks. So don't expect to make some crazy return with this thing tomorrow. This is this is a, a long term hold. I have a long term outlook, folks. Um, we're, we're front running uh, countries, banks and billionaires, folks like this. Who, who would sell? I'm not. Well, I mean, not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. You do you, but you do what's most important for yourself. So look, folks, if you like this video, make sure you stay tuned to this channel. If you want to hear more low cap gems and break down the latest and greatest in news stories and technical analysis, join our Patreon. You get access to our VIP Discord where we talk about low cap gems, very interesting setups, and very helpful resources as well. Join our regular Discord. We're going to be trying having uh, more uh, regular coin calls with all our Discord members uh, roughly every weekend or, or at least every other weekend. We're going to do it this weekend for sure. I'm going to force my son to join us. For those who don't know me, mess we both run this channel um we're gonna you know talk about the market uh, summarize some major events uh you know run through some technical analysis and answer some questions with our discord members um so make sure you join our discord make sure you join our vip uh 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 make sure you join our vip discord to get access to our patreon um and also folks if you want to use a research platform that we find very helpful and that we use to help inform some of our crypto research join token metrics link for that down in the description Token Metrics is an AI-fueled price predictions and portfolio solutions platform. They also they have a, a team of uh, of software engineers who, who review code uh, for different projects. Um, they send you like newsletters, uh, and we find those very helpful, very interesting. So if you can spare the money, we highly, highly recommend Token Metrics. Great platform for doing cryptocurrency research. Link for that will be down in the description below. Give our Twitter a follow. We're constantly retweeting important stuff, important news stories, things that you need to know about. So folks, thank you so much for watching. Until next time. Take care.